Hello, uh, this is Sarah from Bloomfield Analysis and I want to show you how to use the job scheduling template. Uh, this is a simple template with where you can put in all of the jobs that you have and who's going to do the jobs. So here we've got a list of how many jobs have we got here? Six jobs, um, the time that they start, how long they go for and who needs to do the job. And we've got some additional information here. We've put in the job number and also the location. And what you're going to do once we've shown you how to do it is just click automate, add to calendar. And then when you go onto the calendar over to here, all of these jobs go into here like that. Let's move that over you can see all of these jobs. Um, okay, so how do we do that? And hidden here, we unhide here. Uh, this turns the start time into a format that Google Sheets likes to see and an end time. So this puts together the start time and the end time to create that. So these can stay hidden, but if you need to add more stuff going down, you might need to drag these down like that to, to add in add in more so if we were like adding all of these in an hour later this will automatically update but you might need to drag down okay let's get rid of that you want to just put in the name uh, because that's easier for you but what the code will need is this calendar id which is here this calendar id where we're getting this from is so if you look here this is just the schedule and we've also got the calendar IDs here. So I'm just putting in the calendar IDs for Steve Rogers, Tony Stark, Bruce Banner and Wanda Maximoff. And these are the IDs in here. And what this does is once you put in a different person, so if I want to put in another job here for Wanda Maximoff or Steve Rogers, this calendar ideal ID will automatically update so it's something else you might need to drag down if you put additional lines in but yeah where do you get this calendar id i'll send you a link to another video on in the description on where to get that from but essentially if you go to the google calendar and you click on someone go into settings and sharing uh, and then you scroll down until you see a calendar id there you go that's the calendar id for bruce banner nice long complicated one uh but you just can copy that and put in everybody's id here was that bruce banner we copied and then you put that one in here okay so so yeah you can you can add more people and just put their calendar ids here you just might need to um, update the table this is looking at a1 to b4 a1 to b4 you might need to go a1 down to b16 or whatever it might be and in that case that might need changing and um yeah if we added in more and i can show you the code here it's relatively simple code i say that um so here's the code um we're saying on open what we want to do is create a drop down menu which says automate and then within that we want it to say add to calendar so you can see that here so automate add to calendar and when somebody clicks on that add to calendar we want to run scheduled jobs and here's scheduled jobs this is a function that we've created called schedule jobs um, we're saying on this spreadsheet get the values within our range c3 to i9 and this is telling me what what each column does so we've got the start time the end time the volunteer all in here calendar id location of event um yeah, and we're calling the event name the volunteer and the job number and then this creates the i the event with that event name that's in the calendar the start time the end time that's in that 
table and the location we're adding in there too um that's it thank you for listening and um, go to bloomfieldanalysis.com slash sting to download any of their templates uh please feel free to comment like subscribe let us know what you think um and if there's anything that you'd like any help with thank you cheers bye